Hi there, so this afternoon what I want to do is show you how to edit our um, mail merge files for doing diary inserts and then show you how to do the mail merge and any other alterations. So you've got a, a finished uh, file that you can then print out and reprint or print as much as you need sort of thing. So here we are at my desktop. Yes, that's George the Cat, if you hadn't guessed already. So first things first, we'll say ta-ta to him for a minute and we'll call up um, Firefox and we'll go into Filofaxy and go and grab the files we need. So first port of call will be diary inserts, of course. And let's... Um, take a look at that we want the source files so we're down in here somewhere so we want to look in the so we've got two versions here let's let's just we'll grab the old one because that um, we can play around with that pretty much as we want so what we want is we want the word file that's just gone down and we want the Excel file we'll save that one too and then we can put um, Firefox away for a minute and then looking in downloads, I want to open up Enhanced TM Weekview Base. It's they're all referred to as base documents, so we find that and words just coming up. This is on a Mac, but um, it's pretty much the same with um, Windows, so we'll say OK to that. And it's opening the the Excel file, which is in the same directory, so that's OK. Uh, if it's not in the same directory, you have to go and look for it, but that's OK. So we'll say Sheet 1, Entire Worksheet, so say OK to that. I'll just shift the, shuffle this to one side slightly and make this a little bit bigger so we can see what we're doing. Bring it up to uh, 100%. Right, so what we want to do, if we wanted to correct this or add something else in, if we wanted to change this to just let's just change this to notes for instance and let's, this is the early version so this didn't have the the days of the week in here so we'll just pop these in just to show you that you can do pretty much anything with this we'll just pop these in quickly, I'm not sure if they're going in the right boxes but we'll we'll worry about that later so there's Friday Saturday and Sunday so there we have it right now the mail merge manager if it's not already open it normally sits under and I'm gonna get this wrong straight away aren't I mail merge there it is on the Windows version it might be slightly different but you're looking for mail merge anyway I think it's in, on the Windows version it's under um, labeling and uh, mailing documents or something like that but you get something like this so we've already got the documents already done we don't need to worry about recipients list that's the Excel file that's fine the placeholders are already there we don't need to filter we can do preview and this what this lets you do is you can toggle the things so you see all the horrible these are all of the um, codes which reads from Ray's magical Excel file to put in the right days and the dates and what have you. So let's put that back as it was. And what this does here, it lets you preview step through just to so you can see what's actually changing, how this bit works and all that sort of thing. Then we do the magical bit. We just hit, hit we want to do a complete merge to a new document, not to the printer so we can click on that and this now fires up a whole new document and you can see down here it's oh it's done it already so there we go that we've got our um all our pages for our well, it's just still counting them up but this will be a full year by the time it finishes we can move that to the one side now just move him out of the way So you can see we have a full year. And the next step we've got to do to just finish this off, it's not quite finished there, is go back to the top of the document. 
scroll 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 it's busy counting away and so here we are at the top of the document and first thing we want to do is we want to um, go into edit and then find and then replace and what we're going to do is when it does the mail merge it puts in lots of section breaks and we want to remove those so we want to replace so we want to find all the section breaks and replace them with absolutely nothing so leave that bit blank and it says it's found 54 so that's fine so replace all and it goes whiz 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 and it's done and then we'll close that bit and go back to the top of the document and we'll we need to put in a, a blank page and I'll explain why in a minute so we put our cursor at the beginning go insert break page break now if I make this a little bit bigger you'll see that if we go up to 100% now you'll now see that this margin is narrow and so is this one here and we've got bigger margins in the middle so that's where it's going to be punched and that's where your rings are going to be so it then all flows through quite nicely so the next thing we've only got to do now is just save this so we'll save this as um, we'll drop this on the the desktop and it's not in my list so we'll have to just call it desktop and we'll call it uh, 201313 merged because it's the merged version I suppose um, week per view and say save and it says do you want to update the file format because I think this was originally done in 2000, Word 2008 most probably so we'll say ok to that and there's our file. So this is now ready to print and you either print it on A4 or A5 paper um, adjusting your print settings depending on your own printer so I can't cover that easily but um, you get the basic idea you've got the file now and you can do also do a um, save as PDF as well if you wanted to I'll just do that for complete and that's going into the same directory as well and there we have it it's just now processing the PDF quite a few pages in this document as you can imagine and there we are done so I hope that's helped now there's our original document our original base document we can save that if we want as well and um, you can end up if, if that um, merged version didn't work and you want to change something else you come back to the base document you change the base documents and redo the merge so there we have it any questions